going. All right, we're going to build the giraffe camera crane today. We're going to start out by putting our number one and two section together on the ground, and then we'll lift it up and put it on the uh, base of the crane. All right? That's it. All right. All right, after you're done with putting the two pieces, one and two, on the crane base, you want to put the fulcrum on next. Come on up here. on top of there and always remember your adjustable end goes out towards the nose of the crane, the front of the crane and this part goes down to the bucket. Okay. Okay, once one and two and three are on, the crane is front heavy so we put on our weight bucket. And just remember to make sure these are flush here, they fit right into here, screw in from the side and then they're kind of, uh, there's some bolts on the back here to help keep them in, but the main thing are keep the uh, ones on the side flush and make sure they're in. From here, we're going to put on our number one section and our uh, slide weight, trim weight. Okay. okay, once one and two and three are on, the crane is front heavy, so we put on our weight bucket. And just remember to make sure these are flush here, they fit right into here, screw in from the side, and then they're kind of uh, there's some bolts on the back here to help keep them in, but the main thing are keep the uh, ones on the side flush and make sure they're in. From here, we're going to put on our number one section and our uh, slide weight, trim weight. Okay. okay, after the weight bucket has been put on, put on sli uh, rod number one, and then make sure you remember to put on the slide weight. It's very heavy, it's about 45 pounds. Uh, you need to put that on. And then from there, the weight bucket. Yeah, come on, baby. Right there. Put a pin in there. You have that pin back. So you have one, two, three section built. Your weight bucket is on. And from here, you put the last piece on before you put the front end on. And that's on number four section. All right, so we're all good. Okay, you have your one, two, three, number four section. That is the final piece you'd use to go rideable 24 feet. That's the longest you can go rideable. If you wanted to go shorter, you can have this piece off, number four off, and go one, two, three, with the front end on here without this, and that's 20 feet. But this one, two, three, four configuration is the absolute longest rideable. All right, after you get the one, two, three, and four pieces in place, you want to put on the rods. You already put the number one rod on the back, going into the weight bucket. So you start with obviously number two rod, and they're marked, and then the number three rod, and there's a little bridge here. Whoop, a little bridge here that will hold them together. Okay, you put all the pieces on one, two, three, and four, the number one, two, and three rod. I put this nose section on first before I put this rod on. We have that on. Then we put on our nose, or our tie rod. Bring it up a little bit. And that's it. That's the last piece. Bring it up a little bit more. That's the last piece, and now it's rideable at 24 feet. All right, crane is built for 24 feet. Next part is putting the seat on. I like to put the longest extension on first, horizontally, and then put on this uh, smaller section vertically and then the seat goes right up on top there like that. And that's usually pretty good uh, height and distance away for the operator. Next after that you put your thermos on and I always make sure that this control is out away from the operator so there's no chance of him hitting it with his leg or knee or something. Yeah, I, I have two thermoses, one longer than that, uh, and this one. I always prefer to go with the shorter one first, unless they really need the height to get up there. But I usually go with, with that one first. And then the head goes on right after that, again, making sure that this thing is away from the operator. So you have the seat uh, done. Everything is front heavy now. It's on the ladder. Next part we'll go to is the back and add weights to balance it out. Alright, crane is completely built 24 feet. Now we're adding the lead and you just keep adding them 
you feel the balance, it's already starting to balance out a little better. It was way front heavy. Uh, but you just keep going until you get a nice balance and then put it on the ground and then have the operator get on and then add more weights for him. Okay, the crane is now balanced out. Got a left weights back there and it's ready to go. Um, bring it back down to the ground. You really don't need to put it on a box. I can put it right on the deck. Have your operator get on and add weight, and that's your crane. Now, like I said before, you could eliminate this section, go shorter, and then the other option with the remote head is 31 feet. What you would do is build the crane number one, two, three section, and then there's a three extension I'll show you later. That goes on between three and four. So you have one, two, three, three extension, the very long piece, it's the longest piece we have. Then your number four section, and then the remote head. But that is not rideable, that's just for a 31 foot remote camera. Um, all right, Sean, here we go. We have Jesse up there. We're balanced out. Let go for a second to see. It's a little front heavy, so with the trim, get it back there. That's it. And that's it. He's uh, balanced off. He's weighted up, perfect balance. So let's just go over what we did. We started with the number one and two section on the ground, built. Put that on. Then you put the pylon on. From there you put the number three section on, on a ladder. It's front heavy. Come back here, put the weight bucket on. Put your first rod on, your number one rod. Uh, from the fulcrum to here, but don't forget the trim weight. It's very important. Once the trim weight's on, that's on. Come up to this end. You put your number four section on. The number four section on here, and then you put on the rods up until the three section. There are, all the rods are marked one, two, and three, and four. Uh, I wait for the last rod because I put this section on first, <clears throat> then put the rod, the last rod on, add the weights, and you're ready to go. I'm a little ride. Jesse, I know your life is in my hands. I hope you know that. You got your camera good? <laughs> Jesse, your camera. Here, hold this. I'll figure it out. Yeah, great shot of that basketball court. Hey, oh, let me yeah. get a picture of you up there. <laughs> all right, we got Jesse off safely. He's good. He's all good. Uh, what we did is took all the weights off, <coughs> had him get off, took some of the pieces off the front. Now the crane is ready to strike. Uh, what I like to do is get all the weights off. Take the first section off here. Sometimes you got to wiggle it a little bit to get it out, but it'll come off. Number, this comes off first, then your rods, then your number four section, and then I put it back up on a four-step ladder with the one, two, with the weight bucket one, two, and three still assembled. Keep the uh, ladder here on, or put the ladder here on four. Go back to the weight bucket and then take that off. This way your crane is front heavy take the weight bucket off and then the crane remains front heavy. After that you take off your number three section, your weight bucket's off already, take off your number three section, so all that's left is number one and two. If you can, and you have enough guys to keep, to at least three guys to pick it up, I prefer to leave them built and take them apart on the ground. So you have one and two section left, the pylon, take the pylon off and then be very careful because it's just kind of resting there. Once the pylon's off, you could take the number one and two section off, put it on the ground, and disassemble it on the ground and pack the trailer. And the other thing I wanted to go over is once you're set, we have leveling jacks, and they go in this spot here. They just slide right under here and bolt in like that. There's one on each corner. Um, and there's a spindle to spin them to get the uh, right level. I like to take the level up here and different ways of doing it. Going caddy corner on these pieces from that way to this way, caddy corner, just to kind of level it like you would with a camera uh, dolly. But uh, that's the leveling jack there. And then the same spot when you're not using leveling jacks and you're on track, I have 84 feet of track. And these come out. And then the 
track wheels go in the same spot, in the same deal. And like everything on this crane, most of it's all run with this 10 millimeter wrench. Key is on everything here, not to over tighten anything. All right, so you put your four track wheels on, set your track up, and you're ready to go. All right, thanks. Okay, we're going into uh, 31 feet remote. We have our one, two, three section. We took off four. Uh, you could go with the rideable from one, two, and three and just put the riding platform there, uh, as I showed you before. But we're going to go remote 31 feet. So it's one, two, three section. And this is the long piece, three extension. And that goes in, and then three extension, and then we'll go from three extension to number four. Okay, we have number one, two, three extension. And then there's four. We'll go add some weights to the back to kind of uh, level it out a bit. And then from there we'll put on our leveling uh, remote nose. Okay, uh, putting on the rods, we put on our one, two, three, three extension, four. Then you just go with your number two rod, three rod, and then this is three extension rod. It's the longest rod. You can see it's the same size as three extension. You go with that. You have the rod set up. All right, then the next point is bringing over this piece here for the remote head. Flip it around this way. Lift up the crane. And then this just fits in just like this. With this section, always like this in this configuration. You can mount the camera almost 100%, 99% time under here, but you can, uh, if you needed to, mount it up on top. But for stability, and I don't know, just, just usually always put the remote in on this section. But that's it. Once you're set with that, you have one, two, three. One, two, three, three extension, four, and then the low head section in this configuration. Put the last rod on. Uh, you could shorten this up with that and go without this. You could put your remote head here. You could obviously put your remote head here. <coughs> you could use any you know different section. Uh, you can put your remote head, but this is the absolute longest of the crane. This will get you a lens height of uh, approximately 31 feet. And we also have 84 feet of dolly track, crane track, uh, and that's about it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.